The truth is we all go through emotional ebb and flows. So in this video, I kind of want to break down how to deal with emotional ebb and flows, why they happen, and just what it means in a grand scheme of life. Let's dive into it. So one thing that I've been playing with lately is kind of these emotional ebb and flows. You know, everything is going better than it ever has, but for some reason, I simply feel often that I'm either A, not fulfilled, or B, I just don't feel good, like I'm more at a low. And I think a lot of people don't realize that we all go through these different periods of life. There's a winter and summer for everything, and one of those things is our emotions. For instance, with me, business is great, health is going great, life is going great everything's going great but ultimately i've been feeling of missing something and this feeling of missing something then translates in my mind at least to kind of more depressive episode even though one i could say i'm probably not depressed but likely the description for everybody changes and two it is something that i need to watch and see before labeling because the moment i label something and i say that i am x then i'm going to act that way so instead i like to watch these emotional ebb and flows and see what they happen now is there a correlatory response to what is going on in your life i would say yes i would say when you start to sit there and do the same monotonous thing over and over again and maybe you return to it after a while you don't change your habits your routine and you don't ever change anything then of course you're going to come back to the feeling of oh this is it forever and while the rest of your life is forever it feels as though oh i wake up i do this i eat i go to sleep yada yada it happens over and over again so one of the things to keep in mind when it comes to emotional ebb and flows is to really start to gauge why this is happening, when this is happening. Do you need to just change everything? Uh, one of my favorite things to do is just do something random every single day. If I do something random every single day, I do not have emotional ebb and flows. The same goes for journaling. If I journal every single day, I do not have emotional ebb and flows, but instead I can pretty much gauge what is going on and figure out what I need to do next. So if you take away one thing from this video of me just kind of rambling about something I've been thinking about lately, it's that all of us have emotional ebb and flows. The problem is when we identify with the label of what we are feeling at a certain point in time, we are not allowing ourselves the ability to evolve past it, to become who we should be at this current point in time and to really understand why we're feeling this way. Remember, emotions are telling you something. They always are. So if you feel like something is missing, it's likely because something is missing. So I'm going to go do something random. I hope you will too. Drop below what you're going to do. That is random. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.